Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm talking about should a man legally adopt a woman's children? Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today's video is a topic that a lot of men find themselves uh, in a situation where they kind of feel like they're burdened or pressured into having to make a, uh, a legal declaration of their uh, loyalty to the woman and the child. And this comes from, you know, a woman saying, well, why don't you adopt my child? And, you know, I want to advise men, especially in this daytime and hour in the last days, you know, there might have been a time uh, historically when there wasn't this climate as far as relationship and marriage failure to where you might have been able to have a little bit more success with that. But when you think about some statistics, you know, you should really, really proceed with caution. You know, you should really proceed with caution pertaining to doing this because you're putting yourself on, you're putting yourself on the hook while allowing another man whose direct responsibility it is to provide and protect those children, you're letting him off the hook. And you're saying, you know what? We can cancel his debt as a father and I'll sign up for that debt. And I just don't see too many people in this daytime and hour in their right mind going up and saying, you know what? Hey man, I wanna, I wanna take $30,000, $40,000 of credit card debt off of you and I wanna sign up for that, you know? Um, you know, for the men that have done it, man, I wish you much success, but there's been a lot of disaster stories. There's been a lot of disaster stories with men, you know, trying to raise and rear somebody else's child with a woman and that's outside of paperwork. And I want you to think about it, man. This is what you need to think about. You know, you always hope for the best while preparing for the worst. It's like you hope you never get in a car accident, but you consistently go to work to be able to pay your bills. And one of those bills is car insurance. So you're preparing behind the scenes for the worst, but you're hoping for the best. And you know, nobody, nobody goes into a relationship thinking that it would, it would fail, but there is the likelihood. There is the probability statistically there's a high chance that that relationship could fail even if it's uh you know you guys are married you know that, that, that kid's got that kid belong that that child belongs to somebody else via the paperwork already the birth certificate the x y and z you know there is no additional honor in saying well you know uh, i claim this kid legally there's no additional honor in that you know what's the difference between uh, you know, the biological father claiming the child legally on a birth certificate and not being in the child's life versus you being a father figure, active father figure. There's no benefit for you as a man, you know, uh, legally doing paperwork to claim a child that's not biologically yours. And a lot of men have paid the price in doing this because guess what? I'm here today to tell you that a lot of women that push this on men, man, they don't, when, when, when the relationship goes south, they don't care about you. They're simply going to do the same thing, uh, you know, that a lot of women do. Go down there, file that paperwork, and have you on the hook for paying for a child that's not yours. And I'm here today to tell you that you need to, you need to, you need to think long and hard before doing that. 
Oftentimes men in these situations don't recognize the manipulation that goes on and a woman will uh, try to persuade you into doing this. And in the back of her mind, she knows it's just a matter of time for this thing uh, catastrophically fails, but she's looking for some kind of out. She's looking for some kind of benefit. So it's a benefit for a woman to get a, 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 another man to adopt her child, but it is no benefit to the man. I'm telling you right now, these women would say, well, I would never do that. And you don't have to worry about this. And then be the same ones that you'd be like, man, why am I getting this letter on my job? They're garnishing my paycheck because you just signed these doggone adoption papers and adopted the child. Look at the divorce statistics. You know, over 50% of marriages end in divorce. Out of, the, out of these divorces, 70% of them are filed by women. 90% if they're educated. I'm telling you, man, the average woman can out strategic a man in persuasion and manipulation. You have to be able to see this stuff coming. You have to be dead set going into it saying, you know what? I'm not doing that. And oftentimes uh, you have to be cautious because, you know, a woman will tell a kid what to say and the kid will be the one approaching you with this. Well, why don't you adopt me? If you love me, no, nah, love is not love is not shown via that paperwork. I've said this again with marriage license. Your love for somebody is not dictated by a piece of paper. It's in your actions and how you treat them. So as a man, you don't need to do that in order to show a child that you love them. And here's the thing, that love could be for a moment. Because of the actions of the woman, if that relationship is severed, you know, you're not charged with loving them for life. You're not charged with, uh, you know, you're not an infidel if you don't take care of uh, another man's child that was birthed through a, a, a woman's womb that you didn't implant a seed in. Man, there's all kind of conversations behind the scene of stuff that's happening. And there's a man out there right now that's considering uh, adopting a child. And this man is still alive, still out here willy nilly. So be cautious of that, man, because behind the scenes, there's all kind of manipulation and, and, and strategy being played and it all it all pretty much makes the man liable. Closer to y'all ministries kicking in gun barrel straight.